Okay, you see that spot right there? Yeah. It's pretty much where I hit it. Trying to mess with the weeds or what? It's just where I hit him. Just below it. I hit him dead center in the shoulder. So pretty much this episode and this archery season as a whole are going to be the West Show because even though I hunted my butt off all year, I didn't, I just didn't see a whole lot. I wasn't even able to get a deer in that I considered shooting. Or, you yeah, know. it was. <laughs> Megan had a rough year, to say the least. Um, and at, right at the house here, she's always had luck. I mean, if she stuck it out all season, since we've had the place, you've got an opportunity to shoot a good deer. And it just did not happen this year. Um, if we were in one stand, the deer was at the other. And it didn't matter. We just played, we jumped around, we could not win here. So, um, yeah, we don't even have a lot of footage of deer with you because we weren't <laughs> seeing a whole lot. We just, I got our butt kicked all season. And we know they were, we know they were there. We had them on camera at all the stands. They're definitely around. We saw them, I mean, I saw them more when I was in the house washing the dishes, <laughs> looking out the window than I did yeah. for my stand. So. Just one of those years where, you just you leapfrog around and the deer beat you. So, I mean, that's part of it. That's hunting. That, it happens. Towards the end of September, um, before we had our, our Wisconsin youth season, um, I had a really, really good deer, 11-pointer, you know, probably pushing 170 right in that range that I had patterned most of September, but I was gone in Kansas. And, yeah, oh, poor me, you know, I was gone hunting. But <laughs> uh, I, I had pretty much had this deer coming in constantly, so I called up, Corey, I'm like, hey, can you, any way you can get down here, um, we're going to try to, I really want to try to shoot this deer um, before he, you know, he breaks his summer pattern. And, and so Corey came down and I thought for sure we were going to see the deer, have an opportunity at the deer. And it, it did not happen. I mean, we hunted our butts off and it just, it didn't pay off. We didn't see anything. The biggest buck we seen was maybe, you know, a mid to high 120s eight pointer. We just, and we didn't hardly see any deer. So that, that trip was kind of a flop, but like I said, we, you know, fast forward to the end of October, once those bucks start hitting that pre-rut, um, things change. Um, and sh they sure did down there. It made a big difference what a month made um, to the deer, but uh, we definitely, we got into a lot of good ones. switched off a mineral and onto the scrapes. Up here there's a few scrapes but we elected to put it towards the pond. It seems like during the rut bucks travel this ridge like crazy and hit the pond every time they go by. So we're gonna put the camera face in that and, and get our butts in the stand. We're looking for a big old buck tonight. So seven year old. He's a great great big seven or eight pointer and I think he's seven years old. Um, he's on his downhill slide but I'd be happier than heck with him. So and there's a lot of other good bucks up here. So get this camera hung and get in the stand.
side note, a little buck and a doe. And then right at dark, we seen, well, about 20 minutes before dark, had a really nice buck out on a doe out in the field. I couldn't tell, he's definitely in the right age bracket, but I couldn't tell what, what his horns were. They were definitely nice, but I don't know for sure what buck it was, but they went back the other way, they chasing that doe, so never know, it's a good sign. They're, they're definitely on the does, so they're probably not eight yet, but getting close. We are uh, we are in search of a really big deer at this spot. Um, I have a deer, I don't like to say 200 very often, but if he's not 200, he's awful close. And then I have a pushing booner, 11 pointer, that's a dandy up here, and then a lot of other really big mature deer. So there's a lot of possibilities up here. Um, a lot of good deer on this side of the farm, but uh, if nothing else, it's a beautiful morning. Like I said, it's cold. Wind's howling a little bit, about 10 miles an hour, which ain't a lot. But when you're up on the ridge in the middle of nowhere, it feels like a lot. So um, deer should be moving. We already seen one doe come out in the field, nothing behind her. But most of the does we've been seeing, I've had something behind it. So we're going to shut up, sit down, and, and get ready because I think we're going to have a good morning. he looked but then he kind of ran off so either he busted us or there's a really big buck around that he's scared of let's hope that's the case but um definitely a nice buck they're on their feet this morning would have definitely probably shot that deer so too bad but there's more out there so keep chugging along and hopefully get one to come in Megan hunts mainly right here around the house. Um, and then I have a lease down in Durand that I hunt with uh, three other guys. We're only allowed four guys on it, um, mainly archery season hunting down there. Uh, it's a very, very good area. It's really good during the pre-rut. For some reason, the rut, once you get into the mid-November, it slows down there quite a bit. But um, it's always been a place where, I mean, you can see crazy amount of deer. And I know my uh, camera guy this, that was filming me most of this time was Charlie. And he's from northern Wisconsin, so he had never seen, I don't know, that many big deer, you know? And he's thinking, I'm not. Some passing deer, you know, that, you know, we pass every year. It's just what we do there. And, you know, he's like, you going to shoot this one? Nope. And he's like, to the point where he's like, I'm just going to quit filming these deer if you're not going to shoot a lot of them. So, uh, but I mean, it was action-packed. I mean, I think he was with me for seven, eight days, and it was just unreal, the amount of uh, good deer we seen. We didn't see any giants, but we seen a lot of really good deer. Afternoon of 29th here in Wisconsin. Uh, we had a great morning this morning. Seen one real good three-year-old. 
than a good four or five year old ten pointer. I think he was a shooter. Um, he was only about 50 yards away, but it wasn't the be didn't get the best look at him. But uh, definitely a good morning. They were moving. My uncle was on the other side of the valley. He had seen six bucks, one possible shooter, a couple other real nice ones. So they were definitely looking. Um, not on does yet, but I think they're getting close. But 40 degrees, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect day for bow hunting. But uh, chance of rain this afternoon. So we got in here a little early, took a quick lunch, and got right back in here. Um, hopefully beat the rain. I think the deer are going to be moving. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully a big boy walks by. If not, the wind's switching tomorrow back to the north. And I got a whole other batch of stands to go after tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Hang tight.
Make sure to check out Precision Outdoors on Instagram and Facebook. Deer, mid 50s, but he had a G3 broken off, 10 inches broken off. He was at 45 yards, and I wasn't gonna shoot him, but I tried grunting out and come, him come up and watch him make a scrape. Awesome. Turned around, and we, when we checked cameras today, we found a big white eight pointer, probably 21 inches wide, big beams, beautiful deer. Um, and I'm like, I wanna kill that deer. And I was actually planning on trying to kill him in the morning. There's a doe right here, I'll be quiet, but. He come right down the trail, perfect. He was 28 yards, and I shot. And I hit him in the shoulder. I mean, there's just nothing I can, no excuses, no nothing. I just hit that deer in the shoulder. And I, I think I got enough penetration, I can't even talk straight, enough penetration to kill him. But I honestly don't know. It's one of those deals I'm gonna have to back out and come in in the morning and hope he's laying there dead. It's kind of raining, so we ain't gonna have much of a blood trail to follow. He, he was acting real, like he was hurt. And then he made a last ditch run at the end. Um, and then I lost him. So maybe he's laying there dead, I don't know. Um, but if nothing else, I know if I didn't kill him, it's a shoulder shot. I didn't, he either got enough penetration or I didn't. There's nothing I can do about it. So um, it happened, it's, it's hunting. It, it's you know, how it happens sometimes. So I should have smoked the deer and killed him right here, but uh, we're gonna find out. We're gonna get that deer all night, come back in the morning and, and see what we can find. Good thing too was when I saw him, the air was still in. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was in him when he ran up the hill. If it's in there or not, dig in. Yeah, he come down right down that trail that they've been taking. No. Okay, you see that spot right there? No. It's pretty much where I hit him. Trying to mess the weeds or what? I just fucking, <laughs> it's just where I hit him. Just below it. I hit him dead center in the shoulder. Just how much penetration did I get, you know? That looked like much. I got 31 inch long arrows, 30 inch long, 32 inch long arrows, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On morning number two, uh, after the hunt, we had checked the cameras um, and a new buck showed up. This big wide eight pointer and we're thinking he's 21, 22 inches wide. He's got long beams that come all the way back around. Great deer. And I told Charlie, the camera guy, I said, we're going to try to shoot that deer uh, tonight. You know, just didn't actually think it probably happen, but you know, it was from all the deer we'd been seeing, he was one I really wanted to shoot. So we get set up in the stand and, and walks Oh, walks this beautiful 10 pointer. Um, one we had decided to pass. He's probably low to mid 150s. A great deer, but a young deer. Um, he had a broken G3 at this point. Um, we watch him kind of walk by, and as he's he's just leaving, hitting a scrape. I look back, and here comes the deer we had just randomly showed up the night before on camera for the first time, um, walking right down the trail right to us. 
25 yards, you know what, you can't ask for a better situation, better scenario. Deer comes in, stop him, shoot, and the minute I let that arrow go, I knew what I did, hit the deer right high on the shoulder. Um, sickening, you know, that it, two inches over and the deer was dead, um, but it didn't, it hit him in the shoulder, and you know, what we spent two more days after that looking for that deer, um, with no luck, you know, a little bit of blood. We had watched him run quite a ways and a little bit of blood, but didn't find anything. Uh, very fortunate enough, a couple days after that, we had got the deer back on trail camera, so we didn't have to wonder what happened. You know, we knew we hit him in the shoulder, didn't get the penetration we wanted. And uh, yeah, that's, that's part of hunting. You move on and, and learn from your mistakes and make sure it don't happen the next time. Stay tuned next week as Wes continues hunting in Wisconsin and chasing those big bucks. Thing I've ever done.